Hello? Hi, is this Mrs. Bryant? Who's calling? I'm calling from... <laughs> says calling for Dane. At 1045 at night? Yeah, yeah, don't, you know, don't get smart with me. Like, um, we just, there was a problem here at the gym today, and I just needed to talk to him. There's a problem at the gym? Yeah. At which gym? The gym that he was at earlier today. You're not Dane, right? Are you Dane? No. Oh, okay. I need to talk to Dane, because you're not on the account. Um, so you don't have his number. Okay. Well, this is the number he put on his account. Is it like, are you his ex or something? Is that why you're mad? Is there like another number? Don't you get smart with me. You call me at 1045 at night. Don't you tell me not to get smart with you. I didn't say Who not to... Who the hell do you think you are? I never said What's not to get name? smart. I never said not to get smart with me. What's you, your name? You're making up things. My name's Roy. You just told me not to get smart with you. When no, I, I don't. Said I never that. said anything like that. Oh, really? I have a recording of this call. It's everything's Good. recorded Let's for quality purposes. What's your name? My name's Roy. Still, it hasn't changed in the last you know thirty seconds. Royce. Just Roy. Okay. Quit, quit adding and letters under my name. What's your phone number? Can I just talk to Dane? Is Dane there? I want to report you to your supervisor. No, 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 I won't allow it. Is that Dane in the background? Put Dane on the phone. No, I'm not even that supposed is my... You don't tell me to put you, Dane on the phone. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. Who you... the fuck do you... I want... Okay. I am calling... No, going no, to be no, no. Thing you going will on not. Here. You will not. You are not allowed. You get back in the kitchen. Who the fuck do you think? Oh, you, you. Just a moment. Listen. Put Dane on the phone. There's, there's some crazy guy on the phone here. Who is this? Oh, hi. My name is Roy. I'm calling from... Roy, you call my house at 1045 at night? Correct. And give my wife shit, dude? Oh, no. I didn't say anything. I don't know what her problem is. I'm just trying to... Call, I'm trying uh, to get no, hold of I know what your problem is. What's your problem? Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to get a hold of Dane. Is there a Dane there? Uh, Dane doesn't live here. Oh, well, don't freak hey? out. And you don't call my house at 1045 at night. Okay, well, who's Dane? Can you just give me his number? I don't see what the problem is. Just give me his Dane number. Dane is my son, and I'm not giving you his number. Well, he left this number. Like, why would he leave your number? Left it for what? This is his contact number, you idiot. He, he left this number for us to call if there's... This an, is uh, his contact number, you idiot? Don't call so me... now you're calling me an idiot? No, don't call me you're, an idiot. You're do, do not call me an idiot. Don't fuck yourself. Listen. You don't... You don't... You don't... You put me on the phone right now. Right now. Thank you, Jeff, for that intro song that was sent to me back in 2019. And the only reason I was able to find that Dane prank call was because of shipbradsays.com. I just had to go there and type in the word Dane, and there it was. Every single time it's been said on this show. So thanks for helping with that, Synthhead. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad. This is the Snowplow Show. I know it's a bit late. I'm sorry about that. I think I'm two shows behind now or something. Oops. I'll try to do better, but if you're looking for a fall guy... You know, somebody to blame. Don't blame me. Blame the sponsors. Blame all five of them of this episode. Jamie F. Colby C., the Prime Minister of Australia. Ryan B. And mmm, Brad makes my unwashed boy pussy so fucking moist. Thanks all five of you for supporting the show and everybody else that supports the show around here. I appreciate it. 
Today is May 22nd, 2022, and this is episode 756. This is the show where we call people up on the phone and tell them crazy stories. Sometimes they like our stories, sometimes they don't. It's always a mystery. Before we get started, announcements. I was probably on Devin's show last week, so hopefully she's posted that and I can make a link to it. I don't think I was on for very long, though. I think mostly Snappy Bakes was on with her. And I guess that's the only show I've been on this week. But the week before, though, we did a new Hang Up the Phone show. Remember that show we used to do where we just get on the air and take calls and see where it led? Another one of those happened about a week and a half ago. And I think we're going to try and do like a every other week schedule. So we didn't do one last week, but we're probably going to do one this week, probably on Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. So if you want to join in the fun, keep an eye on the Twitter, twitter.com slash phone losers, or just follow us on Prankcast at prankcast.com slash phone losers. That's where we broadcast the show. I feel like I should have more announcements. It's been so long since I've done a show, but there's nothing in my show notes. I guess I haven't been keeping up with show notes either since I'm not even keeping up with doing shows. If your roof has a leak or if your floor has given in, our professional workers will come to care of it. If you need a new trip door to your laundry room, we don't have to tell you that or what we're going to do. We aren't licensed or bonded. We don't deal with permits. We'll install a pool for you and do it a goodie split. We are always discreet with our late night. Royco Construction will handle all of your construction and handyman needs, whether it be plumbing, roofing, work around the house, or heck, I'll even come over and mop your floors. Give us a call at 536-7859 for a free estimate, or come visit us on 8th Street right next to McDaverson's Grocery Store. Mention KFall for a $10 discount. Visit Royco in Telephone Falls. Okay, so I've got a list here. It's a silent auction thing that was sent to me three days ago, but it looks like the list is from almost a month ago. So you can't blame me for this being a little bit out of date. It's going to be all Bobby's fault. He's the one that sent this in. He says, here's a list of bids at a silent auction at a Canucks versus LA Kings game. Some people bid on multiple things, so I've made a few notes and color-coded them in the spreadsheet. So as Mark Knopfler says, please try to pay attention. So usually when it's silent auctions, I get a photograph of a clipboard or whatever with people writing their phone numbers and names and how much their bid is. But Bobby has turned the entire thing into a spreadsheet for me and color-coded it like a huge nerd. Thanks, Bobby. So he's got notes in here, and if it's the same phone number he's color-coded, it's very easy to spot the doubles that way. So thank you for doing that. I don't know what the Vancouver Canucks or the LA Kings are, but yeah, I guess they do uh, silent auctions at these things. And they auction off sports memorabilia for really high prices. We've got stuff like a Ryan Hextall signed Flyers jersey, a Bedard signed Pats jersey, um, I don't know, photographs, jerseys, photos, just photos and jerseys, apparently. Oh, here's one down here. It's not a photo, it's a picture. So there's something quite a bit different. A picture instead of a photo, and then some more jerseys. Okay, so I don't know if the auctions have ended. It has been almost a month. Oh, wait, I guess it has ended because Bobby is telling me that this first guy won this bid. See next item. And then on the next item, he got outbid by $1. Don't know who won. What are you talking about? This is Kyle speaking. Hey, Kyle. Uh, this is Brad from the auction thing. You know, you won that that uh, that signed jersey. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. Uh, we had like a little problem with moths. Uh, half of your jersey's been eaten. Okay. So uh, don't worry. The player's number and everything, it's still visible. Just a little bit has been chewed off of the bottom. It's just half of a shirt now, basically. <laughs> and there's some holes. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrible. But it's kind of cool because it makes it look like it's seen some action. Right, right. Um, Which, which jersey is this? Because uh, I, I, I already bought one of them. Uh, The Ryan Hextall? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, but, like, are, what are you talking about, the Bedard thing? Yeah, yeah. Did you win that one? Because uh, you got outbid by a dollar. 
But then um, I, I figured out who did that. Like the guy that outbid you by a dollar. And I yeah. went to his house and I'm like, look, man, that's not cool. You're being kind of a, a douche canoe. Just putting a dollar yeah. on there and outbidding the guy. You know, it's a thousand dollar item. And uh, yeah. things got heated. I punched him in the face. For real? Yeah. Yeah. I went to his home and I punched him in the face. And thanks to me, you get that thousand dollar jersey now. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Um, well, I already have the the Ryan Hexall jersey now. I don't. I, um, oh, I know. I, I yeah. Um, that that's the 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 Bedard one, the thousand dollar one. That's the one with the moth thing. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, did I get those confused? I'm sorry. I'm calling <laughs> a lot of people today. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yep. Yep. So uh, he said I knocked his tooth loose. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that guy's going to be walking around with a loose front tooth. Maybe it'll actually fall out. Serves him right, putting a dollar underneath your bid. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Well, I mean, if uh, if there's some moss damage, I don't know. I don't know if I want it. Man. After I punch someone in the face for you, you don't want it. <laughs> well, I mean, you said it's got holes and stuff on it. Yeah, but like this other guy, he's not going to pay a thousand and one dollar or whatever it is. After I knocked one of his teeth out, well, I mean, I loosened one of his teeth, but I came to his house and assaulted him. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right, brother. Well, I, I'm I'm good. I'm good on that jersey, but I uh, appreciate appreciate you. Okay. Calling. Well, you still have to pay the thousand dollars because that other guy's not going to pay now. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Um, don't be, don't be can... an asshole. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, brother. You have a good you have a good day. Oh, don't tell me what to do, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, bye. Bye. I don't think Kyle was believing me near the end. Yeah, I don't know what to do with these. They're they're just all jerseys and pictures and photos. Hello. Hey, Eaton. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Ron. Um, uh, we both bid on that. Uh, Gene Bolivia Hall of Fame picture? Yes. You know, at the Canucks game? Yes, 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 yes. On yeah, the, yeah. Uh, was it on the, uh, on the Billy Hall one? Yeah, that's the, one? that's exactly what I said. Um, okay. He, he, uh, it said you bid $80, and then I came along, and I bid $90. Yeah. I knocked, okay. I knocked you out of the winner's thingy, you know? Yeah. I'm the I'm the winner now. Yeah. That Gene Bolivia, he that picture, it's all mine. Okay. And you'll never have it, thanks to me. Oh well, it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, only one of us gets it. To, uh, see it clean. There's not more than yep, one. Exactly. It's a one of a kind. Okay. And you know, maybe if you just bid a little bit more, I wouldn't have been able to outbid you because. You know, I'm not made well, of money. I, I, I can't just bid any amount I want. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you got it. But you left it wide open for me to just swoop in there and and grab that John Bolivio thing for just $90. Yeah. Okay. I bet you feel pretty silly now, don't you? No, not at all. Not at all. Why not? So, what, what, what's the point of your call? Well, no, wait. Didn't you want it? I thought you wanted it because you were going to pay $80 for it. Until I came yeah, along, yeah. But if you, and if, you, if, you if you paid ninety dollars, good for you, and then enjoy it. Yeah. Why didn't you just hang out for a little bit and maybe bid a hundred dollars after me? No, thank you so much. And, well, I'm just, and I'm, I'm, and I'm, what do you mean? No, thank you. What? What was you gonna say? What was he gonna say after? I think he was cooking up a really good zinger for me, and I interrupted him and made him just hang up on me. I suck. Hello, Curtis. Hey, hey! Uh, I saw your name on this auction list at the Canucks game. Uh, we both we both bid on the Elias Pedersen. Uh, Elias Pedersen? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you put your name on there, Curtis Cooper. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I changed it to Curtis Pooper, like with my pen. Sorry. I I got on the list, you know, where we we wrote that down, and I changed your right. name to. To Curtis Pooper on all oh, three, did you? on all three of your auctions. Okay. Yeah, that's what you get for outbidding me, you motherfucker. Uh, is this for real? Yeah, yeah. Curtis Pooper. 
That's going to be your name when they call you. I already got it. I already picked it up. They called me Curtis Cooper. Sorry your butt hurt, buddy, but uh, oh, fuck, man. Fuck. Yeah, well, you know, you know what? I won the one thing, though. You didn't win that one. No, I got two things. I got uh, the uh, yeah, Cowboy Burry and the Lewis Tedison. Yeah, but you bid on uh, three things. Yes. Yeah, so you only got two things. So, haha, fuck well, you. I wasn't planning on buying all three, dude. I only wanted but one. Why'd but, you bid uh, on all three? I was looking for the best option, and I got it. The Pavel Burry. That's what I wanted. I don't buddy. think that was the best option. Oh, buddy. You I think have you no got the worst thing. option. I uh, did. I'm sorry you're so butthurt, but it's what happens when you have chump change. I mean, fuck, sorry. Well, at least my name's not Curtis Pooper. How's poverty living for you? Oh, I had the money. I could have had any yeah. of them. I just didn't want the shitty ones that you want. Oh, sorry you're butthurt, buddy, but uh, I don't know. Cry to somebody else. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Wow, you guys. He tried to poverty shame me, but I guess I was kind of doing that to him, too. So now that I know that uh, Curtis Pooper won two of the items that he bid on, I can call as some of the people who lost to him, I guess. Felt like I was talking to one of the hockey players on Letterkenny. Hey. Hello? Yes? He's calling for Ivan. Oh, shit. Is this phone number wrong? Ivan, you idiot. Your call has been forwarded. Okay. But here's another person whose name is Treen, who lost to two of Curtis Pooper's bids. Maybe they'll pick up. Hello? Oh, hey, it's Curtis Pooper. We bid on the same thing uh, at the Canucks game. The, the Elias, Elias P Peterson versus Devils. Yeah. 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 Like two of them. And uh, I won both of them. You lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, your bid wasn't even close to mine. Yours was 300 on this one, and mine was 400. Yeah, so what, why are you calling me? I'm just saying, ha ha, neener neener. I won, and you lost. Okay. I'm a very competitive person, you know? Okay. Why'd you want two of the same thing? Does it fucking matter? No, but I'm just saying I won both of them. Good. I'm, I'm going to sell this one on eBay for probably twice as much what I paid for it. Sick. Don't you wish you were me? You could no. Be, you could be living the high life. <laughs> no. I have better things to do than do ridiculous things like you're doing right now like what hello hey where's ron oh he's here i'm like who the hell is calling us from little ed why are you yelling at me it? lady well because i didn't realize that it was on speaker just a sec it's okay, not even funny that, it is funny to you <laughs> well where are you who are you i don't even know who you are are you ron's secretary no. Just a sec. Here's Ron. Hello. Oh, hey, Ron. Uh, th this is uh, Steve. Uh, Steve Dave over at the Canucks Stadium. You you, okay. uh, you bid on this uh, silent auction, and uh, we were just reviewing the tapes, and you stole our pin. For me? <laughs> you stole the pin. You stole the pin from the clipboard. What? You, you were bidding on this uh, Gene Bolivia Hall of Fame picture. What? You tell that lady in the background just to shut it, for one thing. You need to bring back that pin you stole. Who are you? For real? Pardon me? Are you talking to me or her? Why does she keep inserting herself into our conversation? I beg your pardon? T tell that lady in the background to shut the fuck up. Okay, honestly, we have no idea who you are. Just bring, just bring the pin back. Bring our pen back. What? What? Who? Who are you? This is Steve Dave. I'm in the. Don't know who you are. I'm in the comptroller's office. I was looking over the footage from the security cameras, and and I hate to tell you this, but uh, you're hanging out with a uh, pin thief. <laughs> I honestly don't know who you are. Don't know anything about you. Who even and... asked you? I called for Ron. Why don't you just go in the other room and hush up? Well. Excuse me. You know what? Don't talk to my wife like that. Thank you very much. And we're we're gonna. Lady, lady, you married a pin thief. 
I don't even know what this what you're talking about. Sorry, but thanks. But thanks anyway. Thank you very much. Okay. I hope you're enjoying that pin, Ron. All right. According to Bobby, Ron was the sole bidder of the Gene Bolivia Hall of Fame picture. Don't try to tell me I didn't pronounce that right. I know I pronounced it right. Oh. Hey, Dom. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. Um, uh, this is Ross. How's it going? Pr- pretty good. Still, not much um, has changed since last time. Yes. Um. I'm what? sorry. Did I sleep? Did I sleep through something? Or did you sleep? Oh, uh, not yet. Um, like uh, we, you were at the Canucks game. Um, a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what? Like three weeks ago. Uh the Kings game. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been. I would have been. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, uh, you bid. You you did that silent auction for the Elias Pettersson versus the yeah, Devils ha- photo. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have that. Yeah, I outbid you, though. You outbid me. Yeah, like because what? what what'd you pay in two ninety for the uh, Elias Pettersson picture? Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't. I think I paid over two ninety, but yeah. Yeah, you outbid me. That was uh, kind of a bitch move. But uh, I outbid you on the Thatcher Dimco crouch photo. I love me those crouch photos. Oh, you did? You took that one? Yeah, yep. Uh, well, I mean, Anton outbid me on that. So I went to his house and kicked him in the teeth. Oh, okay. But just because it's Anton, because he's uh, like a little guy. He couldn't. He wouldn't be able to fight me. Yeah. That's funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was just uh, trying to outbid you on things because I thought you were cute. Who is this? Uh, my name's Ross. Ross? Yeah, I don't know you. I was just watching you from afar when you were uh, signing on those clipboards. How'd you get my number? Um, well, I took a picture of the clipboard. Okay, have a good day, buddy. Wait, what? What are you doing? Don't hang up. Okay, did he say, are you somebody I slept with on the beginning is that really what I heard? I had to mishear that, right? Hold on. Let me rewind. I'm sorry. Did I sleep, did I sleep through something? Or... Oh, did he say, did I sleep through something? Is that what he said? I'm sorry. Did I sleep, did I sleep through something? Or... Maybe I just woke him up. I think he said, did I sleep through something? And I told him not yet. Hold on. Let me see if I can get him back on the phone. Bro, you want to fucking die? D- Dom, I, I, I don't, I'm not gay or anything. I just want to kiss you on the Bro, mouth. I'll fucking come kill you. So but, fuck off. You want to kill me for what? Jesus. I don't think I should pursue this Dom guy. He sounds violent. Holy shit. Did I get a hold of Ross yet? I don't know if I tried to call him yet. Bro. Hey, Ross. Yeah. It's Steve Dave over at the Canucksatorium. Uh, you know, for the Canucks game. You 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 been no. uh, you been on the silent auction stuff? No 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 no. no what? Question. What do you mean no? Okay, I don't need. What? No, you want? I'm trying to tell you about this. What the hell? He's just trying to avoid us because he knows he has our pin. You have reached. I just want to connect. Please leave your message after the tone. What? After leaving a message, you can hang up. Okay, I guess we won't be talking to Ross. Oh well. Hello. Hey, Anton. Hi. How are you? pretty good it's steve dave over at the canucks um you know the office you you bid on the stature dimco crouch photo yeah uh did you win the crouch photo i have it yes i do oh cool that's nice um that doesn't mean you just get to keep our pin like that uh, yeah yeah you need to bring that back that's our the pin. What, sorry uh the you know the clipboard where you signed your number and everything and you put your bid yeah. on yeah, you, you stole our pin. We want our pin back. What's that? What? What's the pin? The pin. The pen. You know, the ink pen where you wrote? Oh, yeah, I don't, wrote, I don't have that, yeah. Oh, yes, you do. We have uh, cameras. <laughs> I don't have that. You need to bring our pin back, sir. Gary, Gary might have it. Who the fuck's Gary? Yeah, he might have it. Who the fuck's Gary? Gary. Gary might have it. Who the fuck is Gary, Anton? What the hell? Anton just thinks this whole thing's a big joke. There's joking around. Hello? Hi, is Derek around? 
Uh, wrong number. No, come on. Don't be a jealous girlfriend. I'm not going to steal them from you. Uh, you seriously have the wrong number. <laughs> Ma'am, don't Bye. be like that. Come on. Just put Derek on. Okay, this one appears to be a wrong phone number. Hello? Hello. Hey, Imran. Yes. Hey, uh, th- this is Bo H- Horvat from the Vancouver Canucks. Oh, how are you? Yeah, yeah, hey, it's Bo. I, I understand you uh, bid on my signed jersey. Pardon? I understand you bid on my signed jersey. Yeah. And uh, you also bid on Elias uh, Pedersen's signed jersey? Yes. And, um, you know, you, you paid $600 for his, but only 410 for mine. So do you like him better? Pardon? Do you like him better? No, that was just the opening win. Yeah, but, you know, you could have opened uh, with uh, a higher bid on mine instead of 410 Right? I was just drunk. Like, which one of us do you like the best? I've been following you pretty much. I don't know, man. You play more of a two-way style. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't play that that sissy shit like Elias does. (laughs) You know, Ermin? Imran? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you hung up. I heard a bunch of... No, no. A ruckus. No. Hey, have you ever seen that movie Jumanji? Mm, I think so. Like the one from the nineties with Kirsten Dunst mm. and and Robin Williams. No. Oh. You saw the new ones. Yeah. Hey, um, would you be against me coming over, uh, with a VCR and a VHS copy of Jumanji, and we could watch it together? We could put it on your TV. We we could hang out. Like you could wear my jersey, the one that you won, and I'll wear my normal jersey, and we'll be like twins. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. And then we'll watch Jumanji together. Yeah. It's really funny and and uh um you know exciting too. Yeah. Yeah. You sure you don't want me to bring uh, Elias, though? Bring him. What? Bring him, too. We'll give him some pointers okay, on defense. Well, since you love him so much. It's actually Bo Horvath. But What? It doesn't sound like the same. You've been on the phone with me for three minutes, so if I don't, if you're not Bo Horvath, you're not going to track you down, all right? You're going to knock me down? You better not knock me down. I'm Bo Horvat. Horvat. That's what I know, they call but, me. But if you're not Bo Horvat, you went on the phone with me for three minutes. I'm very good at tech. I can track your exact location now. Why are you going to track it, my location? Like, I, I'm a celebrity. You know, like I don't you, want you, you know, coming to my house. You don't sound like Bo Horvat from what the interviews. I listen to the interviews. Well, you're going you're gonna to feel pretty silly if you track my location and then you use your little beep boop machine and, and find me here and it's actually me. Bo Horvat, famed Vancouver Canucks player, idiot. Of course I'm Bo Horvat. How dare you suggest I'm not Bo Horvat? You're just giving me shit because you like Elias better. You just like the way he puts the, the puck in the net more than me makes the touchdowns so what what is he sexier is that what it is hello hey Imran hold on one second Uh, I got a call coming in I'm gonna put him on three-way hello hello hey who's this yeah uh, you Bo, me? Bo Horvat speaking. Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, uh, which one? Uh, Imran, it's for you. Oh, uh, which one? 
so many ads are located from you don't call me what which car for sale what, what do you mean what car person you you coming in uh you missing call Im imran can you keep it down i i can barely understand this guy you are missing call yes i'm missing car. missing yeah. the car yeah yes oh, okay. that is me okay but which one you have a car for sale yes Yep. How much are which you one? willing to pay, and what are you willing to do for the car? Oh, uh, which car you for sale? Chevo. Which car did I what? Uh huh. Which car do I have for sale? I uh, uh, my me car. The nineteen forty-seven Ford motherfucker. Sorry. What? No. You selling car and you buy car? Oh, I'll I'll sell and buy cars. I've got cars to okay. sell, and uh, there's some cars I need to buy. Okay. Which one right now have you pick up any? Oh, uh, yeah. Are you going to come no, by sir. and get some? Yeah, pick up truck you have it. I'll wrap your he your fucking head in with the ratchet. No, no. Oh, yeah. I, I will. You come around you pick here. Up a truck for sale? Pick up a truck for sale? Yeah, you can come over and pick it up if you want. Okay, where? Oh, you know where? Uh, you know where the Dairy Queen is? Very queen. Imran, give him the address. No. I Imran's on the line. He's just like you know. Oh, am I on? Am I on? Yeah, he's sitting there and just listening like a creep. I can hear him oh. breathe. I can hear him breathing. Okay. He's breathing okay. really. He's breathing okay. really heavy. I think yeah. his heart rate's up. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. All right, so what's going on? Oh, looks like we lost them both, both Imran and whoever that was. I thought that was a guy that I'd called already, but it might just be a guy that didn't pick up earlier because he was calling from that area. But gosh dang it. Oh, and here's another call coming in. I also don't know who this is. I've just been deleting the numbers out of the spreadsheet as I get through to them, so I don't know what's what anymore. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? What's up? Who's this? Huh? Oh, is this Imran again? Yo, so what's, why are you calling me, dude? It's, like, you're not Bo Horvat. Oh, no, no, I am Bo Horvat. I, I just wanted to find out if you'd be interested in watching Jumanji with me. And now you're making you it weird. Me? You're calling me back. Why'd you hang up if you're going to call me back? I don't know. You're talking to someone else, but yo... You have a girly voice, man. You're not both. Ah, like, I've heard his interviews a hundred times. Oh, you need to go, you know, go find an interview with him, and I sound just like him. I mean, because that's me. When's your birthday? Uh, you, you don't know my public birthday. My private birthday. You just know my public birthday. And I don't have to prove shit to you, motherfucker, so I'm hanging up. I'm going to go back to my Bo Horvat lifestyle that doesn't include you. Or Jumanji. It'll still include Jumanji, but just not you. What? What? Why don't you go watch Jumanji, okay? Just go down to your local video store, pick up a copy. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Hey, that wasn't very nice after I turned him on to a nice movie like Jumanji. Hello? Dwayne, why are you yelling? I uh, just answered my phone here on speaker. Oh, okay. You're screaming at me. I didn't appreciate it. It's uh, a <laughs> what? Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, this is Bo Horvat. Um, I understand you bid on my signed jersey. I did. Yeah. This is Bo Bo Horvat from the Vancouver Canucks. How are oh, you doing? Wow. I'm great. Are right. you enjoying my jersey? Like, are you wearing it? I didn't win it. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I bid on it, and then uh, somebody outbid me, I believe. I never heard anything about it. Oh, shoot. I didn't know someone outbid you on it. How would you feel about a consolation prize? Um, uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Could I come to your house and maybe kiss you on the mouth? Whoa. Yeah. No. <laughs> what do you mean? Why not? 
I don't swing that way. Yeah, but I'm 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 Bo Horvat. <laughs> well, Come on, just, like we don't have to tell anyone. It's not like a photo op or anything. I'm not gonna take your picture. I just want to. I just want to come to your house and kiss you on the mouth. That's all. Wow. Wow. Very flattering. Very flattering. Thank you. I mean, yeah. and, and, you know, we don't have to touch tongues. I just want to kiss you on the mouth. But, you know, not, not like a quick mouth. one. I want to, I want it to last for a little while. Oh, that's really funny. What do you mean it's funny? It's funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I just want to kiss you on the mouth, Dwayne. Yeah. Well, lucky me. Lucky me. I'm waiting for you. Okay. What's the address? What's the address? <laughs> well, we don't have your ad- address since you're a loser and you didn't get my jersey. Oh, yeah. I'm a loser. Well, I'm just saying we don't have your address because you didn't win the jersey. Right. Right. Come. Yeah. Yeah. So Thanks for the call. What's really wrong funny. with kissing another man on the mouth? Are you uh, homophobic? Not at all. Not at all. It kind of sounds like you're being a little bit homophobic. <laughs> Rejecting my advances. Well, yeah, you know. Just thought you could have played a little better down the stretch. So that's why you're not going to kiss me on the mouth. Because I didn't do perfect on the stretch. Yeah, you're plus minus. Whatever. Why don't you just go suck Elias's cock, Elias Patterson's cock? I, I'm not a fan of him either. He's soft as fuck. Wow, wow! You're just gonna insult me like this after I wanted to kiss you on the mouth. Yeah, we can yeah. hang out for a minute. We can get to know each other. We can watch some Jumanji together. Have you ever seen Jumanji? Terrible movie. Well, which one? The new ones or the one from the '90s? All of them. Oh, you just don't have good taste in movies. Oh, you don't think so? What do you watch? What do I watch? I'm a I'm, uh, I'm big Star Wars guy. Ugh. Yeah, Star Wars was pretty cool when I was five years old, I guess. Yeah. Then I grew out of it. You grew out of it? Yeah, and I started it- watching cool things like Jumanji. <laughs> Jumanji's terrible. All versions of it. The Rock, Jack Black, all of those fucking clowns. Yeah, but Robin Williams, what about the 90s version? It was so bad he killed himself. Wow. I, you know what? I don't want to kiss you in the mouth anymore. No, that was uncalled lost. for. Your loss. It's your loss because, you know, you don't get to kiss me in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. And I'm both fucking Horvat. <laughs> Hold on one second. We got a call coming in. Hmm. Hello. So why are you calling me, man? Oh, uh, this is Bo Horvat. I was calling to find out if you wanted to watch Jumanji together. Sure, come come right now. All right. What's the address? Dwayne won't huh? get Dwayne won't give me his address, so I'll take yours. Who? Dwayne. Who? Dwayne. Dwayne. Who? Dwayne Pryor. Hey. <laughs> Who's that? He's on the phone. Say hi, Dwayne. I'm here. This, I bid on a hockey jersey at the hockey game, and this guy gripped all my info, and now he's prank calling everybody. So What? What kind of accusation is that? Hey, hey Wayne. Yeah? Um, is, this, is this an issue for you? Because if you give me your number, we can do something about it. Oh, yeah, right, you can. Guess what? If you start giving each other each other's phone numbers, I'm just going to disconnect one of you. And then you'll feel pretty dumb. Oh, yeah. Let's try it and see how well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care. I'm just laughing. This is just uh, funny to me. Yeah, see, Dwayne's uh, just laughing. Why don't you get a sense of humor, man? Like, Don't, don't make a I federal do case out of it. I do got a sense of humor. You don't even like Jumanji. Jumanji's shit. Dwayne thinks Jumanji's shit, sir. What do you think? What's your opinion? I'm just surprised that it's a long holiday and you have nothing else to do but prank call people, so your life must be pretty fucking sad. The holiday is not till tomorrow. This is what you get for trying to support charity is you get blown up and prank phone calls. 
But at least I'm not scamming you, right? I could be trying to scam all these people. But I'm not. I'm making silly prank calls. Yeah. So fair enough. Yeah. yeah. See? Dwayne agrees with me, sir. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Laugh a little bit. Watch some Jumanji. <laughs> Sir, me and Dwayne, we gotta let you go now, okay? Yo, you had glasses, you're a white guy, you're kind of tall, I think I remember you. That's weird, how do you remember me? Because you called the wrong guy. Oh, crap, you're the wrong guy? Yeah. Oh, no. I've called the wrong guy before. It never seems to lead to anything crazy happening to me. You want to Google my name and fucking go on CSO and go look at my long history. And um, pretty that's, much, yeah. That sounds really and boring. Every, boring. Every, you sound like a boring person, I'm, sir. Every every phone call of mine is being recorded. I'm not saying I'm going to do anything. I'm saying that the cops are going to be coming knocking on your door any minute because I have no contact with anyone other than my probation officer and my lawyers and, and the cops. So wait, you're the one that's going to have cops showing up on your door saying, "Why are you prank calling this guy when you don't know?" You're on probation, you're but you got recording. Wait, I'm sorry. You traced the call. Do they give? No, serious. Do they give people on probation call tracing equipment and swear them in as deputies or something? <laughs> hey, Wayne, what's Dwayne gonna do in? Dwayne auction. Dwayne, this guy sounds full of shit. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta go though. Let bye. me know how it works out. Bye, Dwayne. Go I'll see, see you, bud. I'm going to prison. Bye, Dwayne. <laughs> Yeah, Dwayne thought you were funny, sir. He's like, yeah, that guy sounds ridiculous, trying to make me think he's the wrong guy, and he's someone special that can really get me good. Sir, I hear you breathing. I hear you breathing, sir. Why are you being so quiet? It's weird. It's creepy. Imran? Imran. Hello. Why are you being weird? It turned out that was Imran again, everybody. He's harassing me at this point. He's called me like four times. I had to go look at the email at the original list and look up his number and see who that was. The whole time it was Imran. He apparently wants me to look up his criminal history or something. That's weird. Dwayne was kind of awesome, though. Even if he was kind of mean to me and he talked shit about Jumanji. He's still an okay person in my book. Oh, Hi, Sonny. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Thatcher Demko from the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, you bid on uh, one of my pictures. <laughs> Sonny, they they want you to bring their pin back. All right. <laughs> you, stole, you stole their pin whenever you put your name on here. That was a really dumb thing to do. If you're going to commit a crime, if you're going to commit a crime, don't leave your phone number behind and your name. You big dummy. <laughs> what did he keep saying to me? Okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. Is that his fancy way of saying suck a dick? That's pretty clever, Sonny. Hello. Hey, Michael. Hi there. Hey there. It's uh, Guy LaFleur from the Vancouver Canucks. I understand you um, bid on my jersey. Which one was it? Uh, the sign Montreal jersey. Uh, you got out. You got outbid by Herman. Yeah, you a flare, was it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that's, shaking? That's me. Hey, uh, they wanted oh. me to call you and just um, ask if you could bring their pin back. Bring the what? The pin. You know, you you signed uh, on this clipboard your name and phone number and your bid amount, and you yeah you took their pin. Their pen? Yes. You know, that you used to write with, that you do all your work, work with? Uh, oh, yeah. A pin. I, I have no idea where it is, man, or if I have it. Well, can book. you bring back an equivalent pin? It was a Bic, and it did have a cap on it. Are you, you're kidding me? Yeah, just bring it back to the stadium. Give them their pin back. You can't, like, even though you're going to bid that much for a, a jersey... Like, oh that, yeah, that doesn't mean you can just sure. steal the pin. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, I mean, steal would be a stretch. Maybe just unmindful putting it in my pocket, more like it. Yeah, so, that's something a shoplifter would say. 
Yeah. Okay. Like, oops, I just took all uh, this product off the shelf true. and just stuck it in my I pocket. Don't. Oops. Wasn't yeah, thinking. I don't even think that's true, pal. I don't recall having a pen or an extra pen. So. Well, I, I don't know. It left with you. We just want that pen back. It's just a Bic. Yeah, like, okay. I'm rollerblading with my son. It's, a, it's a dollar nineteen Ooh. tops. What? He's going to use rollerblading with his son as an excuse to not take responsibility for stealing a pen? What a piece of shit Michael is. Wait, sorry. No, that was uncalled for. Michael's okay, I guess. Oh. Hey, Jordan. Yep. Hey, it's uh, Brock here at the um, the uh, stadium. You uh, you were here for the Canucks game, and you bid on the signed photo. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we noticed uh, you used the restroom when you were here, and you didn't turn the light off when you left. Wait, what? With, after you used the restroom, you didn't turn the light off after when you left, as you left. And you know that's just waste of electricity. That runs up our power oh. bill here. And guess what happens? The concession drinks go up again, and everybody complains. It's all okay, this is all some kind of joke here. Oh, no, it's, not, <laughs> it's definitely not a joke. I just was hoping maybe in the future when you're here and you use the restroom, you could just turn the light off when you leave the room. And don't leave it on. In the At the Canucks game? Correct. You know, electricity doesn't grow, grow on trees. Uh, well, I mean, it's a public washroom. The lights are probably always on. Uh, no, there's a light switch on the wall, and you can turn it off as well as you can turn it on. Uh, it's not really my job as, like, a customer. Well, okay, how about as a human being on planet Earth, maybe try to, uh, just kind of keep the carbon from going up in the air by shutting off the lights when you're done with the restroom? (laughs) Okay. It's just it's com- right. common decency, sir, to turn off the lights when you leave the room, especially at somebody yeah. else's house. Huh? Especially at somebody else's house. I can't, I didn't even understand what you just said. Especially at somebody else's house. Well, I'm okay. Okay, so you admit you did wrong. No. <laughs> Why not? Why can't you just admit it? Because I was literally at a Canucks game, and I don't even remember going to the public washroom, so I'm sure that it's not really my fault that the lights are left on. You know what? I was watching the security tape as you came out of the restroom, and I listened, and I don't think I heard you use the sink. Oh, yeah. Well, so you, you didn't wash your hands? No, no, I guess not. Oh. Wow. That's fucking, yeah. that's fucking just, disgusting. That's just greasy. It's just fuck, greasy. It's fucking disgusting, Jordan. Yeah, that's dirty. That's how you spread COVID, you know. That's why we're in the middle mm-hmm. of this pandemic, because of people like you. Mm-hmm. Should have uh, been over by now. But we got anti-maskers yeah. and anti-hand washers like you. Yeah. Going, going no, around just, ruining it for everybody. Fuck, man. Tough. Yep. That's tough. All right, well. I have no idea who the hell you are and why the fuck you're calling me, but... Uh, oh, I told you who I was and why I was calling, and I think you're going to remember. Next time you're here, turn off the lights as you leave the restroom. Don't be an asshole. Uh, no promises. <laughs> okay, we'll just call you up again. All right, brother. Have fun with that. All right, honey baby. I love you. All right. Bye. Peace. I think Jordan learned a very important lesson today about how to behave when he leaves his house. Like, maybe he wants to leave the bathroom light on in his house all day, but doesn't mean we want to. He was in a bidding war with this guy named Khadija. I don't know who ended up winning, but Khadija had the high bid whenever Bobby made this list. And I think this might be the last number I call, possibly, because I'm just about out of phone numbers. I think I've called all of them now, except for this. Hi, I'm not able to take your call right now. Please. Son of a bitch. So I guess that's it then. This show is over. I think we all learned some valuable lessons in this show. Hey, Brad. That's in reality. Hey. I was wondering if you could help me with the situation here. This is a loud person in the background. You tell my kid to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, kid. All right. Thanks, F in reality, for playing 
your loud kid had us. That was great. Hi, Snowplow Show. Tim Riggy here. Hey. Uh, I'm calling because I find it so funny when you try to uh, tell people that you did, like, you did do something, and they're like, oh, you, you, you didn't spray my lawn, and then you go, oh, yes, we did, or they'll say, like, you have the wrong address. This can't be me. Uh, we, we, we didn't have any, uh, we, we didn't sell anything on uh, Craigslist or Tradio, and you'll go, oh, yes, you did. That is so funny. And also, um, I don't know thank what you else for to that. say. And, you, like, remember, you, like, you live in Oregon. Wasn't, remember Johnny Five from Short Circuit? Wasn't he from Oregon? He sure was. Did you ever see him? That's what I wanted to ask you. Remember, he used to be like, Benjamin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep. uh, P.L. later. Love you guys. Bye. That's what Johnny Five was known for saying was Benjamin. That's his number one catchphrase. You know what's weird? That's the second time that Johnny Five... Being from Oregon has been brought up to me in the past week. That movie was filmed in Astoria, which is, I don't know, like an hour or two from me. This is Telly from Philly. Hey. And I just want to ask if you could possibly do some calls using the name uh, Dick Suckmeyer. I got that name from, um, what do you call it? I uh, hate it. Misfits of Science oh. TV show that used to come on back in the 80s. That's it. Dick Suckmeyer. All right, Dick Suckmeyer. That's going to be my new name for all prank calls from now on, forever. Dick Suckmeyer. Hey, Brad, you know how you say, uh, can you tell a person to shut the fuck up? Could you tell them to hush the fuck up? I think hush the fuck up might be kind of fun. Okay. But anyway, great show. Love you. I've told people to hush, but I've never told them to hush the fuck up. Hey, Brad, it's Cody from Texas. Hey. Uh, I was listening to your Mother's Day episode, and it was great, but it also reminded me of a question I've been wanting to ask you like what do you tell your mom you do like for a living what or even people like what do you tell did you even listen to the episode cody my mother's dead a person you meet I, you know like what do you, do you say you're a podcaster do you does your family know that oh you just meet everyone in general just uh piss people off all day or, or I, i'm just curious but i just avoid the question uh, a lot of people have been telling them that i'm an audio editor i do audio editing for a living because that's mostly what I do. I edit audio. And it's not that I'm ashamed of it or anything. I just don't want to sit there and explain it to everybody. But that's just for strangers. Uh, anybody that actually knows me, they know what I do for a living. All of my family included. Bradley. Hey, it's Brandon from Pennsylvania. Hey. Um, I'm wondering why you're never on Twitch anymore. I'm always looking for you. Yeah. I never catch a live show. I decided I didn't like Twitch. But, you know, we did a live show a week and a half ago. We did the Hang Up the Phone show. And also, didn't I do... Prank calls on... Yeah, I did prank calls once on prankcast.com. I'm always looking at your Twitter. So, uh, yeah, just um, just wondering when we're going to catch a live show. I haven't done any live shows. Catch a live on Twitch. Kind of been a while. I may have uh, not mentioned it on Twitter when I went live on prankcast when I was doing prank right, calls. Man. Put me in a hobo. I don't remember. But I kind of think that prankcast is my new twitch.tv. I'm still going to use Twitch sometimes i'm sure but whatever brad i came across one of your shows earlier for the first time where you called someone and said you had their mail and you said you had a fetish for eating mail and you started chomping down on a piece of paper i forgot i even did that those were the days and you, you said it was dumb afterwards but that was the funniest fucking thing i've ever heard on your show ever i would literally pay you money well, to you. do that for like an hour straight. I did that once on uh, PLA Radio, too, when I was calling up all of uh, some Canadian guy's neighbors. Uh, you need to do that more, please. Okay. That's it, bye. More eating things that I shouldn't on my show. Got it. I will do more of that. Hey, Brad, it's Next Door Nick. Uh, I'll make this quick since my butt is really itchy. I was listening to one of your old snowplow shows. You know, the transcript for that says my butt is really a Jeep. So you heard it here first, everybody. Next Door Nick's butt is really a Jeep. I'm like... September, like 2014 or something like that. The one where he called bit, that involved a Facebook mob of Big Bamboo's Cockside Grill. Yeah. And I was just kind of wondering. Cockside Grill? Hey, you know, it would be nice to have a live show where we do a Facebook mob again. I mean, that would yeah. be fun. All right. Talk to, uh, listen to your show later, I I'd guess. I'd say I haven't done one of those in a good four and a half years. But maybe in, say, another six months. I'll do some more of those, maybe, perhaps. Is that a good idea, even? Hey, hey, Brad, it's uh, David. Hey. Listen, 
Hey, Dave. Listen, I was just listening to your <laughs> to the Mother's Day show, and my God, it was beautiful. Oh, but thank you. but next year should be Motherfucker's Day, huh? Ah. All motherfuckers. Get call. it? Get it, everybody? Motherfucker's Day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you, Brad. Bye. This is what I get for not doing a show in so long. I've been missing out on these voicemails with these great ideas. This angry sombrero guy again. I forgot. There's one thing. Do you remember what show it is where you have the you put people on hold as Carol and you play the pussy good, pussy sweet. And there's this one lady that's so sweet about it, and it's just the funniest thing ever. But I can't fucking find the episode that you did that on. I don't know. So I don't know if you happen to remember, but uh, if you do, great. If not, I can't just... I don't know. I did that to a bunch of people for a while, so I can't really remember any of the calls. I just remember most people not reacting to it at all. Hey, Brad, it's the cameraman here. Hey. So I have an LG phone, and... For whatever reason, their recent update uh, not causes, tech support. quote unquote, unfortunately, LG IMS has stopped. So that gave me an idea of a call. I don't know if you got some convenience store numbers if you've been waiting to call, but uh, why don't we call up the employees and say you're from corporate and on your end uh, because they need to they need to reset the phone uh, because you get an annoying pop up every thirty seconds, just like the problem with my phone uh, that the L yeah. The, IMS has stopped working, and you have to tell them that. Unfortunately, the That's IMS the has IMS. stopped working, and uh, try them to do something crazy, like I guess pull out the phone wire, reset it. Uh, maybe, maybe tell them they have to do a hard reset if it's like a battery operated. By but putting it in the microwave, right? You go to your break room and put that phone in the microwave. The positive, the positives, the negatives. So That's what work. I'll do. Hey, Brad, it's the baby shaker. Hey, Love baby the shaker. I just want to say. Can you use more of the Wesley Willis hold music whenever you're transferring people to your supervisor? Yes, sir. Great. I love it. More of that, please. Okay. Thank you. I love you. That's the Suck Cheetah's dick guy, if any of you are unfamiliar with Wesley Willis. Rest in peace, Wesley Willis. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. I just wanted to say, do you remember? You remember? You remember? Back when we did live shows. You do live shows and Facebook mobs. <sighs> Brad, I have to say, there's a minus. Everybody bit. with the Facebook mobs today. You guys are all teaming up against me. And the golden age of the snow flash. Maybe. Maybe. It might, it might still be going on, though. It might be still be going on. Especially if you brought it back. Are you saying it's time to end the snowplow show? Are you saying I should just quit? Because the golden age is over? Is that what you're saying? And, and, and carding, but we all know that that might not be. Quite as feasible, but anyway, what's with all the North Carolina listeners? There already were a whole bunch, and now there's even more. Even a better reason to come move to North Carolina, Brad, don't you think? I'm not going to move to North Carolina. <laughs> hey, Brad, it's Teen Wolf Jesus. I am traveling this week for work. Nice speakerphone, Teen Wolf Jesus. Okay, I just listened to your hobo show of the new one. And oh my God! If any of you are able to hear Teen Wolf Jesus, it's because I brought up his volume and post editing. It's very, very quiet. Hopefully he's saying something good. It's Buffalo forever. You tell him that guy that you can flush concrete out of the toilet was like, was one of the greatest things ever. So there's that. My question for you today is, I was reading the Always of America book on the plane. I've been reading it. Nerd. Apparently I put it down for all. My question for you is, I just finished the eBay chapter. I'm on the McDonald's chapter. And I keep seeing uh, the name Alex, as though your name was Alex in this book. And unless I missed something earlier... It's because it's fiction. You think those stories are about me? I don't understand why her name was Alice in the book. So, can you tell me why that is? I appreciate you and I love you. Goodbye. Sure. I went by Alex in the 90s, and part of the 90s. Most people knew me as Alex. It had to do with living under fake identities. Hey, Roy, you're bitch. Whoa. What's up? It's Matt Hole Matt. I'm just calling just to check up on you to make sure that your mental health is in check. And you're doing fine. I think I'm all right. Well, I don't give a fuck about your mental health, bitch. Wow. All right, I love you. Bye. A lot of mixed messages in that voicemail. I'm not sure what to think about that one. But I do think it's time to end the show now so I can get all this editing done and get this released tonight. And you guys, I'm sorry about the lack of shows. I like. I don't think I even... Did I do one last week? I don't think I technically did one last week. 
but I can't remember, so I don't know. I'll try to do better this week with shows. Uh, I have still been doing hobo so so if you're not a supporter of the show over on patreon.com slash phone losers, then you should be because you'd be getting extra shows that way. I did at least one hobo so last week, possibly two. I don't remember. Maybe it's just one. But thank you, everybody that supports the show on Patreon and Spotify and Apple, especially JBF, Colby C, the Prime Minister of Australia, Ryan B, and mmm, Brad makes my unwashed boy pussy so fucking moist. I swear that's one of the names. I don't know why he's making me say that. It doesn't make any sense that I would say something in the third person perspective. What the hell, mmm, Brad makes my unwashed boy pussy so fucking moist. What were you thinking? You need to change that. All right, goodbye, everybody. See you next time. Hopefully it'll be soon. Oh, yeah, and here's a song by Muck Sticky. It's called Fuck Off. And Mr. Wonderful sent this to me as hold music to put into my soundboard. But we all know I'll never get around to doing that. So I'm just going to play it on the end of the show. Yeah. This is for anybody. Fuck off. I've never been in your fucking basement, you fucking cocksucker. So fuck you.